Hello and welcome to the warm-up presented by Coles Market. I'm Matt Finkel and I'm at Columbus Grove joined by head coach Andy Schaefer. Coach, we got to talk about 2014. Before we look <laughs> forward, we got to look back because it was such a historic season. First trip to the state semis since 2003. I'm sure you have a lot of good memories. Uh, we do, yeah. It was a fun year. Um, kind of definitely had some ups and downs for sure, but ended on a, for the most part, high note. And and I think it's really uh, kind of catapulted the excitement for this year. So uh, it was definitely a year that I'll never forget, as well as some of the kids that are, are back this year. And um, it was a lot of fun. I'm sure it's making them hungry to get back out on the field. And it's crazy to think that, that team was under 500 headed to week eight. Doesn't that show you that it's all about playing your best football at the right time and, and you can get hot and make a run? It is, and it's it's also about leaders. And, and I think that's what the staple of last year's team was. I, I just had a lot of great leaders. And, and that leadership uh, hopefully carries on to this season, and, and uh, we'll find that here in a few weeks. You graduated some good guys, specifically Joey Warnicke was a beast all over the field. <laughs> Who are you looking to to replace some of those seniors that just graduated? Well, obviously you can't replace a kid like Joey. I mean, he, he kind of did everything for us on both sides of the ball as well as special teams. So he was a big part of a lot of what we did. But I think what he did was he bought time for some of these guys that uh, that we have back again starting this year. We, we have a pretty good nucleus of guys back. And, uh, and, and that's that's key. And, and so, I, you know, obviously I don't think you can replace some something like that. But uh, but we're going to move on. we got the same system and, and got a lot of excitement. What have you seen out of the guys in camp so far? Pretty early on, but are you pleased? I am. Uh, we did a lot of uh, seven-on-sevens this year. We actually went to some bigger tournaments and, and kind of took on some uh, stiffer competition. And our guys competed well. Um, I think the thing that I really like about this season is just uh, – uh, our knowledge of the game. Um, entering my fourth year here, the guys know the system. Everything's just running smooth. And, and we're so far ahead of the game of what we were a few years ago. 14 weeks of practice doesn't hurt either. So you yeah, know, that you helped, the, helped last year as well. A little extra time with the guys. And getting that playoff experience so deep and losing to the eventual state champs, but how does that prepare you for the, the next year? I think we're seeing that we've talked to a number of teams who made deep playoff runs already. And it just seems like they're a step ahead. You know, I, I think, honestly, the nice part about it is I, I don't have to press the fact of playoffs. We right. can really focus on each game. Um, last year, we talked about the playoffs all the time. Even when we were losing, we were talking about how it's important. To stay. you got to win this one. you got to stay focused because once you get into the playoffs and once the kids experience it, they just have that hunger to get back. So that's one thing we really haven't talked about at all. Uh, we've just been focusing on our, on our regular season stuff because we understand that that other stuff will take care of itself. Right. On the field offensively, you mentioned the schemes are the same, but who are some of the guys that are going to fill that running back role specifically and <laughs> – and then at, at the other skill positions. Right, right now, uh, you know, we really haven't had our contact days, so everybody looks good running the ball right now. <laughs> right. Uh, but, uh, but we're about to find out. We've got three guys kind of uh, vying for that spot. One of them's Lakeland Clymer. He's a junior. Uh, another one is Isaac Siefker, is a senior. And then I, actually another one is Eric Warnicke, which is Joey's younger brother that's a junior. So, uh, you know, we don't really know who's going to fill that spot right now. But uh, one thing that's nice is our veteran offensive line that we got coming back as well as our quarterback reads. Actually. What about defensively? What can we expect? Uh, defensively, not much is going to change as well. Uh, we have a lot of guys back on defense, and, uh, and the strength of our defense, no, no question, is going to be our defensive line. Three of the four starters on our, our 4 3 defense, as well as um, our, our linebacker, Andrew Nichols, is by far one of our leading tacklers and, and leading defensive players. And, and uh, so, not much is really going to change. We're going to be aggressive and, and uh, go make some tackles. Coming up, you've got a scrimmage scheduled for at Liberty Benton, and then you'll scrimmage Arlington before week one against Pandora Gilboa. I'm sure you and the guys might be ready to take on some competition outside of yourselves. Yeah, I think that that's a really good scrimmage. Number one, obviously Liberty Benton with their tradition. And and uh, it was funny, we, we scheduled the Arlington scrimmage before we knew that we were going to match up in the regional finals. So that scrimmage may have a little bit extra meaning, uh, especially from their perspective. Uh, but it, it's going to be a good look. I think those teams uh, really match up with us well. and. And we'll be a good test to see where we're really at. And then things get started for real. Week one <laughs> at Pandora Gilboa, home for Lipsick at Patrick Henry. That's a, it's a pretty solid non-conference schedule before you get into NWC play. It is. And I, I think it's really neat just because of uh, especially Lipsick uh, being another Putnam County school. It's being really close. Uh, there was some, some history between the two. And I think that that's going to be a great 
game for both for both schools, obviously. And I think Patrick Henry's another solid pickup. So uh, I know Coach Kirkendall's got things going in the right direction over there, and we're excited to play them. And the NWC schedule starts <laughs> at home against Crestview. It's a game you'll be able to see on WOSN. And every NWC game has its own little storylines, and that makes it exciting. But you got to be looking forward to getting Northwest Conference play started at home against Crestview. Yeah, I mean, that'll obviously be a big test. And in, in the Northwest Conference, there's really no off weeks. Everybody's pretty solid. And, and there's a lot of experience coming back in the league. And, um, you know, last year there was there was almost a, it was crazy. It was almost like a four or five way tie for first place. So um, that, that's just the way it is in that league. So um, we're excited to play it. But uh, but right now it seems like it's pretty far away. Yeah, it, it is, I guess. But it'll come up quickly. Last year you guys went five and two in the league. And do you see yourself at the top of the league again? Where do you see yourself? fitting in we know it's going to be competitive yeah I think I think we got a real real good shot of competing in our league um, uh, I think it's pretty balanced and um, you know we'll we'll take one game and see how it plays out between now and week one what's an area you'd like to see improved upon uh, definitely aggressiveness that's that's not one thing that we've been able to practice right now because we haven't been able to hit but that all starts tomorrow night uh, for us and and uh, that's where we want to really see if if we're uh, uh, you know, we know the X's and O's, but um, it, it takes tackling, obviously, and contact in football. So that, that's the thing I want to see if, if we're there. And what do you want to say about the community support that Columbus Grove has received over the past year? I know it was something that was very important to you last year. I'm sure it continued all throughout the offseason, and I know people are excited to see the Bulldogs back on the field. Sure. Um, you, you know, it was really neat after we uh, won that regional championship coming back in a, in a Grove here. and and uh, just the support that we had in the middle of town. I mean, they basically shut down State Route 12. So, you know, that was exciting. Obviously, the whole off season, um, our, our numbers are, are up in high school. Our numbers are up in junior high. And, and I think we have over 90 in our midget program. So for us being such a small school, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is great. We'll finish with this. Biggest strength of this year's team that you see right now in camp and hopefully something that can get even better as you go on. Yeah, there's no no question. The biggest strength is experience. We we have uh, guys that have been starting in our system for three years. A lot of guys. Um, so um, th there's no question. The experience on the field is is going to be our strength. Well, that should come into play right away for the Columbus Grove Bulldogs. Thanks for letting us come out, and good luck to you this yep. year. Thanks a lot. Time for a break here on the warm up presented by Coles Market. When we return, it'll be Mark Kuntz with some Bulldog players. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Coles Market. I'm Mark Hoontz. As we continue our look at the Columbus Grove Bulldogs, joined now by a pair of seniors for Andy Schaefer this year. Brant Follis, a defensive end wide receiver, and Andrew Nichols, a linebacker. And Andrew, we'll begin with you. Joey Warnicke is such a huge part of the team last year, both offensively and defensively. Without Joey out on the field with you guys this year, what do you take from what he learned, what he taught you guys last year, and how can you apply that to this season? Um, well, I mean, Joey was just a, um, an overall good player he's a good leader on and off the field and even this year he's come back to help us out with practice he's here every day as a coach so I mean we're still learning from Joey. Brent even though you lose one of your best players from last year's magical run covered is far from bare on this Columbus Grove team you guys have got a lot of players back who aren't just back but are two-year starters going to their third year starters. Yeah uh, we got a lot of returning guys and it's pretty exciting we have a, we've got a lot of depth and I think I, we can probably see the same same years last year. Looking back on last season, midpoint of the year did not look like postseason was, was going to happen. Yet it did, and boy did it happen, going all the way to the state semifinals. How much momentum do you take out of last year's playoff run? Uh, we try not to live in the past, you know, because it's a new team, so it's a new identity. But we definitely got uh, big leadership. You know, we know since the seniors last year, they're big leaders, so. We definitely learn that from them. So, Andrew, how did the summer go for you guys? How did, how has the first couple of weeks of practice gone? Oh, it's been good. It's been been real busy. We've been working hard, been going hard since uh, May. We've been doing lifting, and then July rolled around, or June rolled around, <laughs> and then we were doing conditioning. And July started our camps, and then straight into two a days, and just no break, just going hard at it. First game of the season, that traditional opener against Pandora Gilboa. What does it mean? 
to get a week one win over the Rockets just a few miles from here in Columbus Grove? Uh, it's huge. I mean, I don't, right after we play them, I look forward to it already. You know, it's a big rivalry game just down the road, so not really home field advantage for anyone. But it's a big start to the season, big momentum shift right there. Andrew, what, what's it like to have that game being week one, knowing you're going to have a guaranteed huge crowd, whether it's here or at Pandora? Oh, that's that's big. It sets it sets the stage for the whole season. It kind of shows, kind of shows the fans what we're going to be like this year. It's always a good game, no matter how the teams are. It's always just a good game. We're going to take a break here on the warm up. I want to thank Andrew and Brent, and we come back more from Columbus Grove on the warm up presented by. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Coles Market as we continue with the Columbus Grove Bulldogs joined now by Bailey Clement and Logan Diller. Guys, as you prepare for the season over against Pandora Gilboa, we're a couple of weeks away from that as we tape this, what, uh, what do we need to get accomplished before week one in the Rockets, Bailey? We just need to keep working hard at practice. We've been going hard for a while now, all July, beginning of August. We just need to keep working hard as a team, get that bond going, and we'll be good against Pandora. Logan, as you look at the, the non-conference portion of the schedule, is that a good way to get you guys ready for the NWC? Oh, yeah, it's a play some few good teams. Lipstick, Patrick Henry, I expect some good games. I expect there will be tough opponents. I think it will be a good test for us to go into conference play. Do you think as you guys enter conference play, there's going to be a target on the Bulldogs' backs after the, the postseason run from last year? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, everyone would want to beat the state semifinal teams, but, I mean, We'll do our best to work hard and win our games. Bailey, do you welcome that type of pressure on this program? Yeah, I mean, everyone aiming for it kind of gives you excitement for each game, so that's always a plus. You get that hype going into each game. It's not like any team's going to just take it easy on you. They're all going to be gunning for you, and we're going to be gunning for them too. A lot of returnees from last year's team. Is that experience perhaps the strength of the squad, Bailey? Yeah, they, I mean – we have a lot of guys that this is like their second or third year varsity. They have a lot of experience. It's going to be a big hope and not having anyone. Everyone's going to know what they're doing out there. Logan, what do you need to work on the most uh, collectively as a team before the, the opener? Oh, definitely working as a team, playing as one. Right now we need to uh, pretty much work on all of it, defense, offense, especially filling the senior spots from last year. That's a big key. And if we do that, I think we'll be good. Do you guys as a, as a senior class kind of look at yourselves as – maybe a little bit of a transformative class that where the program was four or five years ago to, to where it is now. Do you, do you take some pride in the fact that you guys have helped turn around Grove and you got great numbers out now all the way down to, to the lower levels and really have got this program set up to really be consistent for the next few years? Oh, yeah, it feels really great. I mean, people look up to us now as the younger kids and more kids want to play. They see football as a success now, so they want to join. It'll be good for our football team. All right, I want to thank all of our guests here on the warm up presented by Cole's Market. That's going to do it for us. Matt Finkel and Amber Chambers. I'm Mark Coons. We'll see you next time here on WOSN.